Jefferson Close Up. I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Kevin Kelly. Welcome. I was really impressed when I first met you that you are a triathlete and you have run a, or not run, but performed, I guess is a better word, a full Ironman. What exactly is that? Oh, that's a, it's a long competition <laughs> that takes around 14 hours. Uh, so you swim, you bike, and you run. Now, how do you manage to practice medicine doing all this training? I mean, where do you find the time? Well, it's, it's, you don't want to take away from the family time, so it's usually early in the morning, you know, getting up for 35 o'clock, you know, working out, and, you know, when kids go to bed, you do some more at the end. So Now, you went to Emory, where you were a math major, and then you took a year off and studied engineering before you became a doctor. How did that study influence the way you think and work? Well, I, I did an a, a industrial engineering degree in health systems analysis, um, which really analyzes how we uh, practice and the processes within the hospital environment. So it's actually been very helpful for, you know, management, uh, which I do a lot of now. Um, what are some words you would use to describe yourself besides type A, which I'm <laughs> assuming will be one little of them? little type A. I think most doctors are type A. I think I'm very personable, uh, outgoing, uh, caring, um, and uh, energetic. So do you ever find any time to relax? On the weekends. Um, you know, I think I spend uh, time with my two young uh, children. We uh, like to go to the movies and do other things around the house and activities. You know, they're quite active also. <laughs> I can just imagine. What led you into medicine? Well, my uh, long history in our family. Uh, I'm the third, uh, fourth generation of physician in my family. Um, so it, from very early starts, my grandfather, my father, uh, so it was uh, something that I just eased into. Well, your specialty is prostate and bladder cancer. Well, the genital urinary tract, which includes the mm -hmm. kidney, bladder, prostate, and testicular cancer. But you're also very interested in new drug development, and you find that especially exciting, you told me. What do you love about it? Absolutely. I mean, that's what, uh, why I'm in academics. Um, is, is, is that uh, if we're going to make advances in cancer, it's going to be through new d uh, drug development and f developing new therapies for cancer. Um, and to, to bring a drug in from the laboratory and be able to develop it all the way through, uh, it's really quite exciting. Uh, and I think it's really uh, rewarding at the end of the day. What's your philosophy about patient care? Um, you know, I think that the patient always comes first, you know. Um, you know, you really have to understand the patient, make sure you know, have their best interest at heart, but also include the family into this because, you know, when you have cancer, it's not just the patient, it's the family also. And I bet you're as relentless in pursuing treatments as you are in your training for your marathons. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, but, you know, I, I try to put a level head on it uh, mm -hmm. because you have to uh, always balance the risk and benefits all the way through at each treatment decision. We can't cure cancer, but we can control it. We can control the growth and control the symptoms and go enjoy your life. Oh, that must be very comforting. Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure. <laughs>